All right, guys, so we have an interesting one for you today. Today's gonna be an educational video. If you have a C7 Corvette or, there she is, the C8 Corvette, either way, you might have some Alcantara on your interior, specifically the steering wheel. And if you do, odds are very good. You've noticed the same problem that I have with my C7 ZR1, and that is it gets kind of dirty and nobody really knows exactly how to clean it. I mean, there's some stuff out there talking about cleaning it, but today I'm gonna to show you how to clean it. And it's not gonna be me, it's gonna be my detail guy or the detail guy. He's back there somewhere, he's hiding. But we're gonna talk all about it. This is what he does for a living. He knows all about this stuff. So I'm gonna show you how dirty it is to begin with. We're gonna show you the cleaning process and we're gonna show you the after. So if you have any Alcantara in your car and it's starting to look a little less than clean, this is the video for you. Beautiful car first off, uh, I can definitely tell. I mean, your seat Alcantara looks great. Yeah. Obviously it's just the steering wheel because you're grabbing it, you got all the oils on your hands. Um, so the Alcantara is gonna get natted down. I mean, that's just a, a true thing. You're touching it all the time. So, you know, the Alcantara is natted down, it is dirty. Um, so we're gonna get that all cleaned up for you and we'll do a uh, video on that. Yeah. So I told Patrick I was having some issues with this and we'll, we'll get you a little bit of a closer shot here in a second, but I have not cleaned this in the 16,000 miles that I've driven the car in the five years that I've owned it. And Patrick was like, well, I just did one the other day, so let's do it. So we're here with Patrick, obviously. He's gonna tell us what products you wanna to use to clean your Alcantara. Yeah, definitely. So you don't have to have everything, um, but just a few things we're gonna use here. So we just have a couple bores here, brushes. This is gonna be a smaller one um, by Coach Kemi. We have a little bit of a bigger one if we decide to use that. Um, and then a small bristle brush. And then at the end of the process, uh, we're going to use this. This is just a very fine detailing brush. Um, we're going to use this basically to just rejuvenate the fibers of the Alcantara. Because as you're cleaning them and they do get wet, um, you're going to need to you know, bring them back to life and kind of un unnap them in a way. So we're going to use this brush for that. Um, and then chemical-wise, uh, chemical-wise, uh, we're going to use one product, um, this is going to be Coach Kemi Polestar. This is a basically an all-purpose interior cleaner. You can use it on all surfaces. Um, so leather, Alcantara, suede, plastics, vinyl, anything like that you can use this cleaner on. And it uh, is diluted one to four, so really not too much product in here. A majority, majority of it is water. Um, but this is going to be a great product to break down the dirt and grease on the Alcantara itself. And then what's this? This is also Polestar. This is just diluted a little bit differently um, in case we do need it, in case... Uh, stronger? Just a little bit stronger than what we have in here. Cool. So this equates in here to about um, about an ounce and a half of product and then the rest is water. So really not that much product. That's the great thing I like about Polestar is you can basically dilute it to however you're gonna use it for cleaning purposes. Awesome. So here we are on in the interior of the C7. I'm gonna get up and close with the steering wheel here. You can kind of see in this area specifically where it is really kind of matted down. Because this is a manual transmission, I use my left hand mostly to steer the car while the right hand is on the manual transmission shift knob. But I replaced the Alcantara shift knob with a carbon fiber one, relieving this problem. But the steering wheel still has the Alcantara on it. You can see it's kind of matted right through here. Um, a little bit down in here also you can really see it right there the dirt just like it starts to turn almost a blacker shade and it's almost kind of shiny and i know you can't feel it like i can but there's not really much like uh grip left to it which is what alcantara is supposed to really be for when it starts getting matted down like this it's kind of it's more slippery now the uh other side is not as bad but it still has some right there specifically you can see that's a good example right there really and like you can actually kind of scratch at it and i can again i can feel you're not gonna be able to feel it, but i can feel i'm pulling up the fibers so the fibers are matted down and i can pull them up if you scratch at it so this is what we're working on today so on this zr1 here unfortunately i didn't get to spec this car and if i had this would not have been Alcantara this would have been leather here I'm not a fan of Alcantara in the situations where you touch something so your shift knobs your steering wheels in my opinion I don't like them Alcantara I'm okay with it on the a pillars I'm okay with it on the seats just not on the steering wheel for this reason because it gets like this and I honestly I've never had to clean it so 
that's why we're kind of uh, employing Patrick today to do this so he can show us all how it's done and uh, get this one looking new again. All right, so one important detail that I uh, left out, forgot about is the most important one is gonna be the microfiber towel. Um, when you're cleaning Alcantara, you wanna use a low pile microfiber. And the reason for that is anything that's gonna be a higher pile, it tends to shed. Um, so whenever you're cleaning the Alcantara itself or the suede, you don't want the, the towels, the towel fibers to shed onto the Alcantara while you're cleaning because you're just starting over from square one. Also, uh, tell us why it's white. Because we want to see how dirty the steering wheel actually is. So this white thing is going to show us very clearly how much dirt it's pulling off because that's going to start turning brown. It's going to be gross. It's going to be dirty. <laughs> <laughs> so we just got in the car and he just did this tiny little area down here just as a test. I don't know how well you're going to be able to see that, but that much dirt. And we're not even at like off. Yeah, we're not the even main at dripping point. We're not even at half of one side. <laughs> and there's that much dirt on that white towel already. Yeah. That's pretty crazy. It's going to get a lot worse. So let's, uh, let's show the process here. I just saw it a little bit off camera, but you take a little bit of the... Uh... Yeah, so this Polestar, one great thing about it that we didn't mention earlier, it is kind of, it's colorless, obviously, because it's clear, but it's also odorless. So what we're going to do is basically put a little bit of the product on the Alcantara here, and then we're going to put a little bit on our uh, boar's hair brush. Just excuse this brush because it's seen better days, but it works well. Um, so we'll just put... A little bit here to kind of start breaking down any of the oils and dirt that is on there and then we're gonna put a little bit on our brush here and then we're basically just gonna work the product in obviously I'm gonna try and work on the face of this first before I go to the sides um, because the product is kind of working itself into the Alcantara and it's obviously soaking in versus you know spreading it around like on a leather surface So another thing guys, we're gonna do just the the right side of the steering wheel for now to show you the difference once he's all done with this, rubbing it in like that, and then he's gonna take the towel and clean it up. But we're gonna show you the difference of the right side versus the left side just so you can see it in person how much difference how much different this makes it look. Oh boy. <laughs> Yeah, so that, I mean, that. that's just the, the face of the... <laughs> wow, uh, that's so gross. Here. That is insane. And that's just the face, yeah. And you haven't cleaned this in how long? It's been five years oh, or 16,000 miles. Oh, boy. Yeah, so obviously another area that is going to need some attention is going to be in here. I guess it's your 3 o'clock grip. Yep. Um, so, because you can actually see the amount of dirt and the oils on the Alcantara up there compared to, like, where we just cleaned. Let's get in there. We'll clean our face again here. Now, when you're using the brush, you don't want to use a ton of pressure. I'm just basically holding the brush and moving it over the um, surface, but I'm not really like pushing it into the wheel because you still want the fibers of here, uh, the boar's hairs, to do their job and work. Not bad. Ugh. Still coming off pretty dirty, guys. Jeez. So this is pretty much one of those things that you're going to want to just continuously do over and over and over again until that towel is not coming out looking dirty anymore. That's how you'll know it's clean. <laughs> yep. Yeah, there's no need to worry because obviously when you're doing this, pro this uh, process, the fibers are already kind of natted down or matted down. Um, but we'll actually kind of pull them back up and then we'll let it dry and then we can check it again and see if we need to revisit any areas. And then after that point, you can decide if you're gonna leave it as it is or if you're gonna do any sort of protectant on the surface. It's crazy too, cause you can see over here, like the color of your stitching is almost like a darker gray and you're looking to where we clean and it's kind of like back to white. Nice. Yeah, it's pretty dirty. And we haven't even hit, I mean, you really hold here. Yeah. So this isn't too much of where you hold. Right. The right side is definitely not as bad as the left. Yeah. So what I'm going to do now is just use um, this little um, interior cleaning brush to get in here a little bit better. Because obviously with this, you don't get as much pressure point there. So we're going to put a little bit there. A little bit on the brush. Yeah, 
Yeah, I mean, for just half of the steering wheel, <laughs> for where you well, don't even really hold. That's horrible. That's pretty bad. Yeah. Gross. Yeah. That's how you know it's working, though, guys. And, I mean, I could tell just by looking at it, it visibly looks cleaner. And even if you compare it to this side over here, I mean, you can even feel the dip. Um, the viewers aren't going to feel yeah. it, but you can feel how oily and knotted down it is over here to over here. Yeah, it's knotted down. We're going to fix that. Um, but it's a complete difference in color. All right, so now that we went ahead and cleaned all the dirt and the oils off of the Alcantara, um, we're going to go over it with a stiff bristle brush. Now, this one isn't too, too stiff. You can still run your finger through it, um, and it doesn't, it still moves. Um, but we're just going to go over this and just kind of drag it over the fibers just to kind of lift them back up. And again, you're not looking to use any pressure let the brush do the work and now we're gonna let that dry so while that's drying guys we're gonna get into something else but after it's dry I'm gonna show you the difference between the two and then we'll finish that side all right guys so you can kind of see a 50 50 shot here now the right is obviously done the left is not done yet and uh, I wanted to do this as a 50 50 shot for you just to show you how dirty it actually was you guys know how I am with my cars. I try to keep them very clean. And the fact that this still was able to get this dirty says something because I never drive with dirty hands or anything. This is going to happen regardless if you have Alcantara. And as you saw the process here, it's not super difficult. You just have to have the right products and kind of the right touch. So basically you don't want to go in this into this heavy handed and scrub the crap out of it because you'll literally ruin the Alcantara if you do it that way. If you go in gently with the right products, you can get this done pretty easily, it looks like. So, yeah, we're going to finish cleaning up the other side of the wheel, uh, bring the pile of the microfiber on that side back up, or the Alcantara, and uh, then we'll kind of show you the final product here. So I showed you the earlier before, and I'll show you the later after. So here's the towel so far, guys. This is just from the right side. We haven't even started on the left side of the steering wheel yet. And this was and a brand new white towel. It was brand new, first off. But if you guys know the ZR1 steering wheel, the bottom and the top aren't even going to be done here. This is just the side. So the right side, just this little bit here, is what that came from. It's crazy. <laughs> it's gross. And like I said, I'm, I'm, not a, I'm not a gross person. Like, you can look at the interior of my car. Otherwise, it, it is not dirty in here. I do not keep a dirty car, but... That stuff just, it's just your, the sweat of your, the palm of your hands and everything. It just builds up on there for so long that it just starts to mat it down. It's gross. But we're going to go ahead and clean this side too. I'm going to kind of give you more of an ASMR approach to this. I'm just going to let him go to it and uh, we'll go from there. Yeah. So here it is guys, <laughs> the beautiful white microfiber towel on that side and then the back side. All of that came off my steering wheel. And honestly, about as long as it took in this video is about how long it took in person. So I mean, this is not a difficult long process. This, this was pretty quick. Just gotta be careful. You gotta be careful. You gotta Don't be, overdo it. You gotta be gentle is what I noticed the most. But yep. like the boar's hair brush here, really not I would say it's medium stiffness. It's not super stiff, but it's not real soft either. You just, and then like he said, you just kind of let the brush hairs do its thing. You don't really have to push on this at all. Yep. So really uh, an interesting process here, guys. I, like I said, I wanted to make this video because I know that this is kind of a problem. This is kind of a, an issue that people have even with the, uh, the C8 Corvette, the C7, anything with Alcantara. Honestly, it doesn't even have to be a Corvette. If you're watching this and you own a Lamborghini, this is the same process to clean your wheel. So the materials, the gentleness, and uh, he, he had the Coach Kemi product here, but you can also use uh, the Sonax Alcantara cleaner. Relatively similar. He prefers the Coach Kemi because it's a little bit better, he said. It, it, it 
kind of breaks down the dirt a little bit better. So I'll link both of them in the description down below as well as the brushes. So you have kind of everything you need to do or everything you need for this particular process. But I'm gonna show you the after here in one second and you guys are gonna be absolutely floored. So stay tuned for that. In case you're wondering, this is the Sonax stuff. As you can see, it says Alcantara and upholstery cleaner. So the Coach Kemi stuff that Patrick used today is the same kind of thing. It's mostly upholstery cleaner. But really, all you're looking for is something that will kind of help break down the built-in grease and dirt. And that's either one of these two will work. Like I said, both will be linked down below. Yeah, and this one's just diluted um, into a small foamer, similar to how the um, yeah. Sonex one's already got yeah. a foam top on it. There you go. So if you want one, it's uh, kind of a turnkey situation. That's this guy right here. Because you'll buy it, it'll come in the foam bottle already, ready to go. Whereas the Coach Kemi, you got to pre-dilute it and get the foam bottle. It doesn't come with that, right? Yeah. It does not come with that. So either one, I'll link both. All right, guys, so here it is, all done. Way, way better. So all dried up. You can actually see <laughs> the microfiber texture again. It is fantastic. So yeah, guys, you saw the process. Not anything super intrusive, but I mean, you can remember right here, and I'm gonna put in some before and after pictures because right here, it was just super matted down and now it looks brand new. It feels brand new. So I'll put in some before and after pictures because those kind of captured it the best, I think. Patrick took some before and afters. I'll put those in, but for the most part, that's the process. So if you have Alcantara like I do on your steering wheel, shift knob slash boot like I used to, the seating arrangement here, which just actually doesn't get very dirty, so I don't mind it here, but anything you touch, it just gets so messed up this is how you clean it. And if you guys have any questions about the process or how this what all went down, you can send, of course, you can comment on this video. You can send me an email, horsepowerobsessed at Gmail. Or if you go ahead over to Instagram, you can go to the detail guy and he can answer some questions for you too. I will link it in the description down below, all of Patrick's Instagram information. And if you're local in the Pennsylvania, Pittsburgh area, he can actually wash your car and detail it for you as well. So yeah. If you don't want to do this and you want to have him do it, his info will be down below. So hopefully that helped you guys. If it did, smash the thumbs up button. Let me know you're liking this kind of content. I like to do the kind of how-to real life experience kind of stuff with this because it makes sense. This is something that you guys all are going to experience at some point if you're getting Corvettes. Odds are very good you're going to come across some Alcantara. So if you liked it, like I said, smash the thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't yet, guys. And as always... <laughs> Stay obsessed.